we are episode four, the last concert. No, I left him here four days ago. I thought, well, since I didn't hear from him, I thought he'd forgotten me again. Caught up in his usual musings. It's happened before, you know. Did he stay here alone? Do you know if he went in? Yes. Well, I don't know if he went in, but he certainly did ask me to leave. He seemed a bit more erratic than usual. As I said before, it wouldn't be the first time I've traveled with Sebastian only to find myself on a forced holiday until he remembers I'm there. Honestly, I thought he'd forgotten completely this time and had just headed back home. The hotel was booked until Monday, so... Well, he's not home. That much I can tell you. Is there any way to get in there? Well, as far as I know, the door isn't locked. Although it might be a bit swollen from the humidity. Uh, maybe if we gave it a little push. Right. Let's give it a hole. But someone should look for another way in, just in case. What's the guy's accent? It's almost like... I thought he was a Newfie. He must be like New England or Irish or something. It's Daniel Hosea. Ernest Finnegan. Friend of Sebastian Husher, Ernst is a renowned ex-archaeologist forced to retire due to constant health problems. The writer is one of the few people that still manages to entice him to breaking his routine, and Ernst often travels together with him during his research trips when the writer needed help to gain access to the Abbey of St. Cecilia. He thought immediately about Ernest. I guess you're a human sacrifice for this episode. Congratulations. Well, I can go have a look. After all, I know the area, more or less. Oh, my son. Giving up on me. Oh, Sebastian, my old pal, where are you? I didn't understand the bombing. Bombing? Those craters are frozen like one with them. Yeah, that's a very good assessment. Very clapped from soon. Nothing left of the upper floor, eh? Can I get through there? Another rent behind the wall that's blocked by a hatch. Practically frozen. You can have a frozen sack. It's more convenient to have these sacks on barrels here than to carry them to and fro.
bolded note says, I feel like I'm being followed. I know the Abbey is abandoned, but sometimes it feels like there's someone there who's putting out the candles. It might just be the wind or the insufferable chill. I must be losing my mind. Sometimes I encounter candles that I don't recall lighting myself. Damn it, I need to find the origin of that cursed song. Get out of this place. Oh, well. One should leave a table like that. I think that's the least of their problems. Old herbs, recipes, yada yada. Hidey hole? That was empty. It took my stomach, I think I'd fit. Those are Latin to identify as sorted herbs and ingredients. It was cut. And that's our evil door. and craft beer recipes. I wonder what their beer tasted like. Oh no. It's worse than we thought. They're hipsters. A wooden bucket full of grease. These products usually have surprisingly long shelf life. It's kind of hard to uh, expire grease, isn't it? What? There's a puzzle with that one? Okay, put a pin in it. Too heavy to lift with your bare hands. Do we need a uh, fulcrum of some kind? Oh, a keyhole. By then, it was already abandoned. No, it's still quite. Where, where is this? Is this? I thought this was in the states. Oh, iron. Bucket, throwing things down to the well or pulling them up. They have nothing to lower down. Flowers can sail the snow from my thorny mind. 
think I left my uh, clippers at home. Still getting chugged. What's that? What are you doing? I think it's funny how uh, he didn't react to that at all. So I have to go then. I guess there was another set of double doors back there, was there? being quite large. Damn, you can't help it, us. Huh? We have to hide left to run all the way to the other side. This was a nice to be quiet. But the pot except dust and black filth. My favorite. Ah. Bottle of liquor, oh boy. Oh. They could swig them and it wouldn't poison me. Huh? I was like, open my cupboard. The door is swollen and jammed. <laughs> Put your back into it. Kitchen utensils. Older than the ones my mom used. Makes sense, it says here access among sleeping quarters, but it's forbidden. Isn't that where they slept? Well, that's a good question, isn't it? Get someone on that. And kind of turns those gears on the wall. Passage. Tunnel on the other side of the wall. It's been used by the monks, but now it's blocked with a heavy latch. Okay, so I got a bottle of liquor.
Teraz chodź mu tu. Where was that Greece? There's another one, was it? That's that who's ruining it. Stand uh, specifically demonic attacks. Okay, so it turns out you really do have to free your limbs before you go back to mashing W. And there's something in the courtyard there, I don't know. Have you screen and y'all open your mouth and it's. I guess I take the stairs, my knees don't give in. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? <coughs> uh. 
See? Perfectly fine. So am I. Dormitory. They weren't su superstitious. This place is just like they said. I can't remember where I sneaked into the walls. Now I keep pacing down the same empty corridors time and time again. I should have listened to the villagers and stayed away from this place. I feel... Like my mind is slipping into the abyss. I hear something break the silence of these halls. Something like the swishing of robes around me. It seems to come from all places at once. When I raise my lantern, I see nothing. Then when I put it back, the sound returns. Closer than before. Damnation, have I gone mad? Holy shit. Here's a box and broken mirrors. No doubt they go hand in hand. Yeah. Only books, writing like Bibles and diaries to be exact. Dear Diane. Staircase back today. Day long ago. We are in the laboratory. The treasure's still there. That dirty thing there. Hmm. Dirty rag. Oh boy. 
Hmm. Handy at some point. You know, I'm sure it will. Whiskey bottle back would make a Molotov cocktail. Cozy place in here, eh? That was also more as soon as I was saying so. something in the dormitory. No, can't tell what it says that I can't. Oh, uh, I can't believe what I'm saying. 
hell is this place? Dude off to himself. That was a suicide nose, from what I gather. Running shears! Mm -hmm. Those are for those thorns up there. It's still where someone must have taken. Oof. 